What's going on guys, Anthony from chronometercheck.com here and today we have a review of cheapest NATO straps. Now this is not a sponsored post or anything, actually I just was uh, really curious to check out some of their straps. So I actually got recently this Alpha Daytona and I really wanted to try out some rally straps so I figured it was a good way. They had some decent offerings, so yeah. Uh, and I want to check out some of their other strap offerings in the meanwhile because I did hear some good things about them from other YouTubers, you know, Instagram, Urs, things like that. And uh, yeah, so here we just going over them real quick. I'll put timestamps in down below. Uh, this is the Jubilee style NATO. This is the I can't pronounce the name, but basically it's the rally racing straps. The suede, another name I can't pronounce. And uh, this is the vintage or this is the Tropic Sport and this is the vintage Tropic rubber. So it's timestamps below. Let's get into it. So the first straps I want to take a look at today are the vintage or sorry, these are the Tropic Sport actually that I have on my Seiko cocktail time. Definitely a, a little bit of an odd combination and my camera is struggling to pick up the cocktail times dial, but a little bit of an odd combination, you know, kind of a dressy watch and a sporty dive watch style uh, rubber strap. But anyway, it's super hot in New York. It's like approaching 100 degrees. So I just really wanted something just comfortable, you know, so I took off the leather strap that I had it on and uh, just decided to give this a shot. I actually wore it for a barbecue that I just had. And it was really, really good. Like for the warm weather, it was great. You know, some cheap rubber or silicone straps are just sweaty and gross, but these were actually really, really comfortable. Of course, thanks to the uh, perforated holes, kind of like rally racing inspired, definitely helps to promote ventilation, keep you cool. It is silicone, it's not natural rubber, uh, but it, doesn't attract too much lint surprisingly. It does attract a little bit of lint as most artificial rubbers do tend to, but not that much, so not that bad. And I did actually get this on clearance for an absolute steal. I think all of these rubber straps are literally like a couple of bucks each. So if you get them on clearance, I think they're a really good deal. At like 10 or $15, I'm not so sure. I, I really don't think they're worth that much, but uh, if you could get them you know, on the cheap, they're so, so worth it. This one, I wish it was a little bit more uh, orange than it, that as it looked online, but it is kind of like more of like a tannish. So just something to be aware of. It's kind of like an orange tan. I don't know. It's kind of kind of a weird color. Not my favorite. Again, it was just on sale and I'm like, I needed to add something else to my cart, I think, to get some free shipping or a discount or something like that. So I'm like, why not? Um, and this one. This one is really, really good as well. This is the Vintage Tropic, and on the underside, it has sort of a waffle weave. So all of these are really good and cool, and I don't mean cool as in like, yeah, they're so cool, but they're com cool and comfortable temperature-wise and definitely good for the warmer weather. They are all waterproof, so of course, you can wear them on a dive watch. You can wear them diving. You can wear them swimming. Not a problem. They do wick moisture, and of course, again, the perforated holes do promote some uh, ventilation and breathing. So next up we have the Kavarso Rally Straps. I'm not sure I pronounced that right. Really did kind of, a, it's a Swedish name. These are manufactured in Sweden as far as I know. And yeah, so I kind of have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with these straps. They were $20 each. And, you know, for a leather rally strap, that's pretty decent. It's not, you know, super expensive in the world of leather straps, but it's not, you know, dirt cheap either. It's, it's you know, these two straps together is $40. And for, you know, about $80, you get a really premium kind of racing uh, rally strap, or really any leather strap. For about $80, you get like a Horween leather strap, which is top of the line. So just take that into consideration. Now, it does have a really good style. It, it looks good, of course. I really like the uh, the rally racing style. Again, I did get it for this watch here, but I just have it on this uh, NATO's for now. But anyway, so I have kind of a love hate relationship. So it, first of all, it has kind of, this is kind of odd, but it has sort of this weird smell. And uh, I don't know if you guys smell your leather straps. This is probably super weird, but I literally like to smell my leather straps. I'm not actually sure if this is genuine leather. It doesn't smell like it. It kind of smell has that like cheap shoe from Macy's smell. Like if you, you've ever smelled or tried on like a, like a fake leather shoe and it just has that smell. So I'm not sure if it is uh, genuine leather. Uh, but anyway, another thing, it's completely unlined. Now, I'm not sure if this is additionally to help promote further ventilation, you know, along with the holes and just keep you a little bit cooler in the warm weather. 
uh, because that is, again, you know, it, it is super hot. It is summer right now, so I wanted some cooler straps, and this is good. You're not gonna wear this in the middle of the day in the summer when it's hot out, but maybe on a cool evening, these uh, preparations can help keep you cool while wearing the leather strap. But as I was saying, um, I don't know if the fact that it's unlined at the bottom, I don't know if that helps keep you even cooler and you know promote more ventilation, or it's just a way to skimp out on some costs and you know cheap out on the manufacturing. And it's just a little bit of a uh, a little bit of an unrefined, you know, just a touch that like kind of a, like a lack of attention to detail that kind of disappointed me. Along with the buckle, the buckle is absolutely horrendous on this thing, just absolutely terrible. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just super thin, super sharp, and honestly, I don't even know if it's stainless steel. It might be. I'm not positive, but it might just be chrome plated. It's just not good, which is surprising because compared to the one on the, it's actually not even as good as the one on this super cheap rubber strap. So it's like, why would you cheap out on these more expensive straps? So that's what I don't understand. But I will say whether it's genuine leather or not, and again, I'm, I hope it is, but I'm not 100% positive, so I'm definitely not gonna disclaim that it is. But once it's on the wrist, it actually does feel really comfortable. It, it just folds really nicely. It uh, It's not stiff and it doesn't feel like a cheap strap. It does feel like a good strap once it's on the wrist. Um, it, it has a little bit of give. It's pretty supple for the most part. So my problem with that though is I don't know how long this strap is gonna hold up because it is so supple. It doesn't feel like there's anything you know, to kind of uh, help keep its shape over the long run. Like I don't know if it's just gonna rip apart uh, so I will kind of keep you updated. Maybe I'll do an update, you know, say, I don't know, three, six months down the line. Maybe not three, because I probably won't be wearing it too much in the summer every once in a while. But yeah, so maybe I'll give you guys an update. Anyway, let's get on to the next strap. Next up, we have this suede Kavar. So again, hope I pronounced that right. Strap on my vintage Seiko 5 SNX S79. It's just a little bit of a variation with a, a domed acrylic crystal. And I just think it makes the piece look really awesome. And this strap, I think, just works absolutely perfectly with it. Uh, it does have a spring bar quick release, as do the rally straps, which is pretty, it's just always nice. You know, you can't go wrong with spring bar quick release. I like it. And I think this strap just works really well. It was like $15, and I think it's a, re a reasonable bull price for what you get. The hardware is, again, this terrible hardware. So I don't know why they use this terrible buckle on the leather and suede straps, but they you know upgraded the buckle on all the other straps. I don't know, and these are actually the most expensive straps, the suede and the rally. So, you know, you'd think you'd get a little better in terms of hardware, but oh well. So the style is really good, really soft, really really supple. It just it just folds along the wrist, and again, that's kind of one of my concerns because I'm not sure the quality of this leather. Um, it feels good. It feels great but I'm not sure how it's gonna hold up because there's nothing inside, you could tell. It's just super flimsy, and uh, that makes it comfortable right off the bat, but it, it does bring up some questions of durability and longevity. And again, the website is called Cheapest NATO Straps, not Best Watch Straps, you know, so something to keep in mind and consider. So next and finally, we do have this Jubilee-esque style NATO strap. This is a, a single pass NATO, and yeah, so it it's, uh, hmm. I have a lot of thoughts about this strap. So they advertise it as kind of like a premium seat belt, or like the equivalent of like a premium seat belt NATO. But uh, I haven't tried one of their seat belt NATOs, but if this is like their premium seat belt NATOs, I'd be pretty disappointed because you could see the underside is like not really a seat belt esque weave, whereas this one is, is from Barton Bands. This is a seat belt NATO. And you could just see sort of the little more sheen and the, the slightly tighter weave. And now, of course, this one is more expensive. This one was, the Jubilee was about $10 or so. They do come in a variety of colors, which I really like. $10 is pretty cheap for a NATO strap, but it's definitely not like a premium seatbelt style NATO, if you know what I'm talking about. So um, it feels, you know, it feels okay. The end doesn't, it isn't really rounded off too nicely and doesn't feel like, it was finished too well over there. So I, I, again, have some concerns about how this is gonna hold up in the long run. But it looks nice, it comes in a bunch of different colors, and I, I do like the styling. Um, you know, maybe another company, maybe like Blue Shark now, or another uh, NATO strap company will kind of hop on this wave and make sort of an upgraded version of this style strap. I think that'd be really cool. Um, the hardware is, again, better than the leather straps, which is like, why? Why would you cheap out on the leather straps? It's not great by any means, but it's it's a little better. Um, 
I think. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay. It's not amazing. I do like these uh, these or these keepers. They don't move or anything, so you can't like wiggle it up and down. Yeah, it's just a cool strap. Pretty cheap and affordable. Ten bucks. Um, do I? Love it. I mean, for you know, twenty bucks, you get a good Alpha Shark strap. Do I love uh, this style? I don't know if I love it, but it's definitely cool and unique and interesting. And I don't know if it suits this piece so well. I think this strap would actually look better on a dressy piece. Um, but I just wanted to try it to see how it look. And yeah. So that is about it, guys. Thank you for watching this cheapest NATO strap review. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more watch strap and watch reviews and leave a like if you did enjoy this video. I'd really appreciate it. I thank you so much for all the support. You guys have been so helpful and just, you know, so kind to me starting this new channel and uh, giving me great feedback. I really appreciate every little constructive criticism to help make my videos better, to know what to do to make them better in the long run. And yeah, check out the blog for more kind of in-depth reviews of everything, you know, this stuff along with more. And again, thanks for watching.